Okay, so we have methane here. Let's draw its little structure. Its little structure will be this. We have eight valence electrons. Oops. Two, four, six, eight. Also no charge. Uh, so that is it. Okay. Its axe notation would be AX4. There are no lone pairs around the central atom. And so if I want to check its electron domain geometry, I have one, two, three, four electron domains. The electron domain geometry is tetrahedral. But the molecular geometry doesn't just look at um, bonded pairs and lone pairs. It simply considers the positioning of the atoms, okay, of the atoms. Electron domain geometry is just worried about where the electrons are. Electrons could be in bonds. The electrons could be lone pairs. But molecular geometry is referring to the positioning of the atoms. So there are different possibilities for molecular geometry for a tetrahedral electron domain geometry. So let's look at these and see if we can understand what we have here. If the molecule is like we have with methane, there are no lone pairs. The axial notation is AX4. Four atoms around the central atom with no lone pairs. Okay? Then the molecular geometry is tetrahedral. Here's an atom there, an atom here, here, and here. Well, let's say that uh, it had one lone pair. Look at this. This is still tetrahedral electron domain geometry. Why? There's one electron domain. Here's two. Here's three. And then there's four. So it's still tetrahedral electron domain. But remember, molecular geometry is only concerned with positioning of the atoms. And there are one, two, three atoms. So this axis notation would be, this one would be AX3E1. In this case, the molecular geometry would be trigonal pyramidal. And that pyramidal is describing uh, the, the geometry of the atoms there around the central atom, right? If you look at it, it looks like a triangle and kind of like a pyramid, okay, up under here. What about if the X notation was AX2, E2, okay? That's what we have here. We have a central atom, two atoms bonded to the central atom, and two lone pairs. The electron domain geometry is still tetrahedral because I have one electron domain here, that's the bond. I have one here, that's a bond. I have one here, a lone pair, and a fourth here, four electron domains, but molecular geometry is just describing the position of the atoms. We're not worried about lone pairs of electrons, but where are the atoms relative to the central atom? So this one would be called bent because if you're looking at it, these atoms, so if you're looking at this, this molecule, it looks bent when we're just looking at how the atoms are arranged to each other. They're not all on a straight line like we have here, linear, all on one line, but this is kind of bent down. So that's why this is called bent, okay? So going back again to this example, we have methane, four electron domains, no lone pairs, our molecular geometry with no lone pairs and four electron domains would be tetrahedral.